Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Amy Pepperfly. If you're new here, take a moment to hit that subscribe button down below. It means a lot to me and it will help you out because you won't miss a moment of what's to come. And if you're not new, welcome back. It's good to see you again. This is a game that came out last month. It is called East Shade. It's an RPG. There's no fighting. It's an open world and you can be as creative as you like. The main point of this game is to just enjoy the land and get to know the characters and there's a lot to the story so I'm not going to be saying a lot during our time together but I will be narrating as needed. Forgive an old woman, but I forgot your name. What was it again? Amy. Would you mind getting my book from the sleeping quarters? It would spare my bones the trip. It's called Great Voyages. Oh, sure. I don't mind. Great Voyages, property of Clara S. If found, please return to Port of Lindo. The seas of the north are widely unexplored. Researchers predict these waters are expansive and small expeditions have revealed numerous islands filled with diverse life and communities. Due to the unpredictable and violent nature of these waters, Many exploration ships have been lost while attempting to form new contacts and carry out scientific research. All eyes on the horizon. Thank you very much. I've read this old book many times. Seems I find something new each read. And no matter how many times I've read it, it never fails to get me excited for adventure. Are you the adventuring type? Yes, of course. Ah, after my own heart. I've had a lifetime of it, believe it or not. If you're sticking around in East Shade, maybe I'll tell you all about it sometime. Captain Elona told me we'll be landing in Lindo shortly. I think we're all antsy to arrive. I've never been to East Shed. I've heard wonderful things about it. Did you know that the people there used to cover their mouths with garments? I've heard that since gone out of style. Quite a strange fashion fad, if you ask me. As long as Ishe doesn't rock like this ship, I will love it. Well, what can you tell me about Lindo? It's the quaint little seaside town we'll be landing in. It's one of the many gems of the country, I hear. Hmm, that sounds wonderful. Well, thank you. <sighs> Almost there. Hmm, what was that? That didn't sound right. That did not sound good. No, it didn't. Oh no. We must have hit something. Quick, everybody. Let's get out of here. It's too dangerous to stay.
Did I ever tell you about the trip your father and I took to East Chain? Tell me again. Out of all the trips we took, that one was my favorite. You know, if you're ever looking for painting inspiration. I know, Mom. <laughs> tell me you'll visit it one day. I promise you'll go. I promise. <laughs> to think of you exploring East Shade. It makes me so happy. I know you'll find inspiration there. What an adventure you'll have. Listen, there are some places you absolutely mustn't miss. Be sure to paint the giant tree. Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. Well, how will I know it's tree? You won't miss it. Trust me. And the tip for bluffs. Ah, oh, the lovely sky country. I can picture you there now. An easel set and you making a beautiful painting. Those open skies and endless seas would move any artist. Okay, I will. And the city. There's a magnificent building in the center. From the very top floor, you can see the whole town and more. You won't be able to risk taking out your brushes. You should get some rest, Mom. You've woken. Are you feeling okay? Do you remember what happened? I was traveling on a ship. They collided with the reef. I'm glad your memory's intact. You washed up on this beach just a short while after the ship sank. One doesn't last long in water this cold. Did everyone else make it? From what I've heard, you were the only passenger misplaced during the wreck. The others are safe in town. Where are we? East Shade, of course. Specifically, my home. I usually don't take visitors. But in this case, I can hardly blame you for floating in unannounced. Did any of my possessions float in? Only your reason. Don't forget to take it when you leave. Even the frigid tide couldn't bring you to part from it. It must mean a great deal to you. I won't forget. I was about to head into town to share news of your survival. You should go there and let them know yourself. It's just up the path. Thank you for helping me. On your way, then.
You're on the ship. What happened to you? I washed up in a beach cave. Oh, thank goodness. We thought you were lost. Oh, what a horrible experience. I'm so glad to see you're safe. What brought you to East Shade anyway? <laughs> My mother loved it here. Very adventurous of you. I came to visit my family. You look like you could use a nice cup of tea. This flavor is a bit strong for some people, but the effects can be lifted with a sip of water from your water skin. Thank you. Our captain is in a terrible state. I suppose that's to be expected. Mm. She won't even leave the dock. Perhaps it would console her to know that we all survived. You should speak with her. Where are you staying? My family lives here in Lindo, so I'll be staying with them. If you find that night is coming and you're in need of a place to stay, you should check the inn. You'll be comfortable there. It gets cold around here at night. You shouldn't be out without a proper coat. Tell me about Lindo. After that wreck, I may just settle down here for a while. Are you wondering about anything else? Mm, no. Take care. You certainly are. Thanks! My dad says that I can do anything as long as I put my mind to it! Yes, I am. So am I. Do you want to see what I made? Okay, sure. Look! Wow, you worked really hard on this. It took all day. But I want to make my next one even better. What should I do? Hmm. You'll want to start with a nice canvas. But I don't know how to make a canvas. Well, let's make it together. All right! You're a nice artist after all. <laughs> we need to collect boards and fabric. I know where some boards are. Follow me. Did you see when it ran a reef? I've never seen anything like that. Terrible waste of a good ship. And it went down so quickly. It's amazing anyone made it out of that. You certainly won't see me boarding a ship any time soon. Now we just need the fabric. I don't know where to find that. Maybe we should ask someone. Let's keep going.
So you've survived too. That means only one of us has been lost at sea. Who was lost? Who? Only the most important one of us all, Annabelle! Uh, Annabelle? She doesn't sound familiar. Doesn't sound... I see. She carries you across the oceans and you don't even learn her name. Annabelle! My ship! My wooden, sea-loving <laughs> daughter! Killed by the damn reefs when we came into this miserable town. I'm very sorry about your ship. Inclined of you to say so. Kindness does nothing to bring sweet Annabelle back to me. What will you do now? I imagine I'll be spending the rest of my days mourning Annabelle, sitting here, dreaming of a world where she wasn't destroyed and people actually remember her name. I'm sorry I didn't remember. Off with you. Trade your life for hers. Well, what do you think of Lindo? It's really a terrible place to be stranded. Ship murdering town. Do you know where I could get some fabric? There's fabric all around us. Just look. Or ask that dock worker over there. Well. Oh, my ship. Such a good ship she was. I must be going. Now leave me be. We have everything we need now, right? We can make a canvas from this stuff? Well, um, just a minute, young one. Maybe we should look around a little bit more and talk to a couple of people. Watch your step there. Lots of moving boxes around here. You looking a little waterlogged. Guessing you just came in off of that ship. Think you even got some seaweed hanging from your ear. Gee, thanks. Yeah, we all have those days, right? I mean, uh, my dad got in a shipwreck once. He wasn't as lucky as you, though. <laughs> oh, that must have been tough. Oh, no, he's, he's, he's fine. Just lost his leg is all. Now he gets to order us around even more. So, you'll probably be exploring all over, right? Would you do me a huge favor? What is it? My brother loves raspberry-filled pastries. Loves them. He can't get enough, but raspberries don't grow here. So, he puts in an overseas order every two weeks. It's crazy, really. Now, the thing he hates is grape-filled pastries. I, I mean, we all hate them, obviously, but he hates them even more. He'd destroy them all if he could, you know? He once saw an old lady eating something, he grabbed the box and threw it in the ocean. It was the craziest thing. Okay, so what I did was fill his raspberry pastry bag with, uh, <laughs> grape pastries. Can you imagine what he's gonna do when he eats one? <laughs> He'll go insane. <laughs> he's always suspicious of me doing something like this, though, so it would be perfect if you could play along and act like you're a uh, delivery person. So, what do you say? Will you deliver them to him? <laughs> this is a great plan. Perfect. You gotta play the part, though. <laughs> really make them think they're raspberry pastries. <laughs> this will be great. Here, take these. My brother lives over in Nava, so I'll meet you there in a few days, all right? I'll probably be near the bakery. You just come find me, and I'll point my brother out to you. Well, deal. Hmm, what am I getting myself into?
you paint something? I want to watch a real artist. We've had quite a few shipwrecks here. There's a reef surrounding the bay and that's what does it. This shouldn't slow down traffic too much though. I'm just glad you all made it. What do you think of Lindau? Lindau is a nice port town. Although we don't have much to export anymore. Aside for bloom sacks. Now most of our tourism these days are just people passing through. On the way in or on the way out of Nava. Do you know where I can find some fabric? Fabric? We go through loads of it. Here. These lengths are defective for shipping, but will perhaps serve your purposes. Oh. Well, thank you. See you. Now it's time to find something to paint. For the little one. What should we paint? Hmm. The ship, maybe? No, that's... That's too typical. Um, maybe I'll paint a portrait of her. Yes. That's a perfect idea. Much. Hey, Miss Nika loves art like us. She always likes my paintings. I bet she'd like yours too. She really likes the eclipse. You should draw her that. again for the canvas. You must be the traveler from the wrecked ship. A cave dweller rescued me. Oh, good. Ingolf needs some visitors every now and then. I wish he would spend more time in town, but he'd rather be alone. Do you live in Lindo? Yes, I run the inn. I always keep a full stock of soup and tea to refresh weary travelers. When I was young, I traveled all over this island. I'd love to adventure again one day. What can you tell me about Lindo? It's a bit more calm than Nava. I think it's quite a nice place to relax. What about Nava? I lived there for a few years, working as a baker. I do miss the bustle of the city sometimes.
Certainly. I feel so adventurous staying here in Lindo. Where are you traveling from? I live in Nava, but sometimes I just long for the primitive lifestyle Lindo offers. How humorous you are! I like that in a person. Some may find the story of my journey utterly inspiring. Nothing could have prepared me for the muddy path, the unbearable heat. I even had to eat outside. Overall, it was a dreadful experience, but I braved through it all. Mm, that sounds like quite the trip. Yes, it certainly was impressive on my part. I so dearly wish my friends could see how adventurous I've become. My wings! Who's there? Nika? Is that you? No. You must be one of the tourists. Terrible about the sinking and all that. Glad you're okay. Yada, yada, etc. Uh, but will you go get Nika, the innkeeper? I need help. Why is there a jug on your head? It's stuck, obviously. Now, would you be so kind as to go get Nika for me? How does that even happen? It, uh, it, it happens. It's fairly normal, really. Doesn't it happen to you from time to time? I'll get Nika for you. Brilliant! I'll wait here. Uh.
great viewpoint, isn't it? Hmm. It's very different from home. Look, the eclipse is starting. Not a bad show, right? Hmm. I've missed seeing it from solid ground. Huh. You couldn't get me out on the oceans for anything. And especially not in a rickety wooden ship. If you haven't got lodging for the night, feel free to stay at the inn. I'll leave the upstairs room unlocked for you. Drop in at your leisure. <laughs> Don't worry about payment. Shipwreck survivors stay free of charge. Thank you. Take care now. Ah, the traveling artist. Goodness, that painting of the eclipse is lovely. Is it for me? I bet Sandra put you up to this. Ah, oh, this is lovely. You're too kind. I'm going to hang this in the room upstairs. What can you tell me about Linda? It's a bit more calm than Anna. I think it's quite a nice place to relax. How about Nava? I lived there for a few years, working as a baker. I do miss the bustle of the city sometimes. Certainly. Oh, of course he does. And what is it this time? He has a jug stuck on his head. Again? That's <laughs> like the eighth time. All right, then. We'd better go help. stuck, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty stuck. I think what we need here is some soap. Would you be a dear and fetch some soap from Amin's house? It's just down the stairs and across the courtyard. Traveler? Could I borrow some soap? Soap? Well, certainly. May I ask why? Aeson's head is stuck in a jug. He did? Hmm. Is he a friend of yours? Uh, I barely know him. Ah, well, I shouldn't gossip then. No, best not. Right. Well, here's some soap. Safe travels.
You have the soap. Well, let's try this thing then. Here, let me have that soap. Well, I guess it was convenient that you dropped in when you did. Uh, thanks for getting Nika. How did you get your head stuck? Well, you are a nosy tourist, aren't you? Beeswax! Um, I'll let you be. My garden is filled with all sorts of wriggly critters. Take care now. Shady and Folk Tales, Volume 1. Long ago, the air outside the planet grew terribly cold. Without any fur or feathers for protection, Sun began to freeze. She decided to make her flames as big and hot as possible to keep herself warm. Sun worked all day and night to keep her fires burning. Enormous flames reached all the way out to our soil and began to scorch the creatures here. Fires raged, destroying homes and forests, but Sun was too exhausted to notice. Growing worried, the plants and creatures decided to help her. Together they gathered twigs, leaves, fur, and feathers, and wove them all together into a large sheet of fabric. They covered it with clay to protect it from fire, and the trees lifted the woven mass into the sky. Take this blanket to rest yourself in warmth, the creatures cried. Sun slipped under the blanket and wrapped herself tightly. Her flames cooled and dimmed, leaving the land creatures in darkness. When Sun woke from her nap, her golden light returned to the creatures, who danced and sang, thankful that their gift had worked. And so that is the story of Sun's blanket, which she still uses each day. <laughs>